in everything you do for the Lord. It is the love and the intention in that thing that matters to the Lord. It is not the quantity, it's the quality. Sunday morning, I'm about to leave home to come to church. And I urge you guys to come to church on Sundays. All right. But I'm going to church because I want my, my nagging mom to get off my case. Because she keeps on nagging. Go to church, go to church, go to church, go to church. So I'm going to go to church so I can make her quiet. Make her quiet. Jesus is standing very upset. He's waiting for you at home. He's waiting for you at the church at the same time. So when he sees you leaving in this kind of intention, you're doing it out of obligation. You're doing it out of just to get people of your case. Jesus is waiting here, very upset. You walk, he doesn't have a place in your heart. You walk in, you walk out, nothing changed in you. But if you come with the intention and the heart, saying, Lord, I'm coming. Jesus, he is the groom to the bride. He wants to hear from his bride. He waits to hear from his people. When you come to church, come for his sake. Don't come for nobody's sake. Nobody else's but his. And I can assure you, I'll guarantee, I will put my life on the line on this. When you come with this intention, you will find him. Or actually, sorry, I'll correct that. He will find you. Because you cannot find him, but he can. He will find you. When you seek him, he will find you. Ladies and gentlemen, young men and women, fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, my beloved friends, Jesus is the only reason for the season. And without Jesus Christ, everything is meaningless. Everything comes to a full end, stop and a full halt and comes to an end. We need the Lord in our life more than ever. Our time and age is very difficult. 21st century, extremely difficult times. The world is becoming more atheistic as we go along. So many countries that they were built on Christian values and ethics now, they are atheists. A lot of European countries are atheists now, they were all Christians. Australia became a secular government. They used to start the parliament with the Our Father prayer. Now, if you say the Our Father prayer in the parliament, they will stone you to death. This is Australia. America is drifting away from Christ. It was embedded in Christ so strongly. Now, they become an atheist where they want to ban Bible teachings even in some states. Canada, gone with the wind. Secular government, they don't want to know nothing about Christ. And the moment you talk about Jesus Christ, you are a discriminative person, you are a judgmental person, you are an enemy. Why? Satan, my beloved. Satan. Satan fights Jesus only. He doesn't fight Muhammad, he doesn't fight Buddha, he doesn't fight Krishna, he doesn't, he doesn't fight nobody, he fights Jesus. You know why? Because the only one that crushed his head is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The only problem he has is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So he said, I can't win with you, I can't overcome you, Jesus, I'm going to hurt you through your children. So wherever your children are, I'm going to persecute them because when I persecute them, you're going to feel the pain. Since I can't overcome you, I'm going to hurt you through your sons and daughters. And the governments are giving in 
into this trap. Well, they want to ban someone like me to preach. That was the intention of one of the parties of this country. I don't have the right, if they were in power, I don't have the right to go and preach about Jesus in the public arenas or preach in, in, in freedom. No, they want to they wanna, they wanna bind me within, within the, comp, uh, uh, the confoundment of the church. Like within the walls of the church, that's where you can talk about Jesus and you cannot again say this kind of a lifestyle is wrong, this kind of a life is, is a sin, you cannot, you are judging you, you will be sued and you'll be taken to court as they did with Israel Falah. What did this guy say? All he said is that the Bible says these kind of people, God <laughs> burned them, <laughs> Sodom and Gomorrah. Poor guy. They sacked him. They sued him. They crucified him. I beg you guys, be close to the church. Have the Holy Bible as your friend. At home, read it. Encourage other family members to come and gather around the Word, which is the living water, the Word of God. Encourage others. Read the Holy Bible together. If you're a family, read the Holy Bible together. Husband and wife, read it together. With your children. If you have a baby, when you put your baby to sleep, read the Holy Bible to your baby while they are going to sleep. Let their ear learn how to hear the voice of Jesus Christ. Because there is no other way but Jesus. I love you guys. Thank you so much. May the Lord always protect you. May the Lord always guide you. May the Lord always deliver you from every tribulation, whether it be visible or invisible. For the Lord is the good shepherd that leads his sheep to still waters and green pastures.